Hi, Nana and Bob. How are you? Good. How are you, Leora? I'm well. Thank you so much for asking. So I loved your dynamic together on screen, especially in the classroom scenes. Uh So for both of you, what did you like best about working with each other? Oh, can I go first? I want to go first. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I I love working with Bob because he lets me go first. Um, But no, he's he's, um, incredibly uh, talented, obviously, and incredibly generous as an actor. I feel very, uh, you know, like there's certain times when you're, you have an acting scene and partner and um, you feel, even though the, you're pushing the envelope in terms of the emotionality, like you still feel very safe and I feel very safe with Bob. So I would love to act with him all the time in everything. I second the motion. <laughs> it's, it's great working with Nana because she's so alive when she works and it doesn't look like she's working at it. It looks like it's just a natural occurrence, which it probably is somewhat. She makes you want to be there. You can't tune out when she's tuning in and she's really a good person and she's so special. And nobody's mentioned this before, but she wrote, directed and starred in a brilliant movie that opened the, the uh, Tribeca Film Festival and was a huge hit. And she's not even looking proud. It's great. <laughs> Thanks, Bob. You're welcome. It should be said a lot. I was going to say, congratulations on Queen of Glory. What a massive achievement. (laughs) Thanks. So you're both really talented artists. Um, Queen of Glory, of course, Bob, I know you're always in the midst of developing projects, Mm -hmm. amazing projects. So as artists, tell me about some of your favorite moments from this project. I'm Bob. I loved being at the, when we were occasionally at the table with eight of us teachers and Nana, well, Nana's a teacher too. There were eight of us and they were these, some of them were sort of quick little scenes with lots of fast interchanges. And it was the only time we ever got to meet the other professors. We got to meet mm-hmm. the key professors, but there were other professors besides the three or four mentioned uh, with real parts in the movie. And I, th- I thought it was really fun to all be together at the table. Oh, that's a good one. Um, I also... I really loved the dynamic. Um, Amanda Pete is our showrunner. She is obviously Mm. a very talented actor and and as well as writer and showrunner. But um, I think when you have somebody who's come into the situation as an actor, into into being a showrunner from being on the acting side, um, Mm. there was such a great collaborative spirit uh, across the board, Um, you know, asking for our input, asking for, you know, like, does that feel good to you? Like there was a lot of checking in a lot of, and I felt so cared for again, I felt very safe on this set. And I think that had a lot to do with Amanda and that ecosystem that she had kind of created. Um, And I think a lot of what she created was out of reaction to her having been an actor and knowing what it's like and, you know, and, and wanting to make sure that we were really cared for. And that was great, especially during shooting during COVID. Can I say one quick thing about Amanda too? Yes. She says more, she says more words with one or two words than I've ever heard anybody. She immediately gets to the point and says it right away. She doesn't hem and haw and she doesn't make a story out of it. Sometimes actors as directors really talk a lot. And Amanda just, (laughs) just got to the point immediately and told you and you never felt criticized. You felt helped. And so now I'm curious, Bob had mentioned the scene around the table. Nana, what were some of your favorite scenes? Oh, gosh. I mean, I loved, um, I will always really remember my first scene that I shot when I arrived in Pittsburgh, because it was with Sandra. And of course, I have like admired her for so long from afar. And I, you know, and we had met over, uh, you know, hangouts or whatever to rehearse a little bit, but seeing her in the flesh, I was like, oh my God, it's Christina Yang, you know? (laughs) And so like, I had to kind of put my inner fangirl aside because in that scene, like we had to immediately drop into having so much history as friends and colleagues. And then her asking me to do this very difficult thing, which of course is to co-teach with Bob's character. And that was day one for me. And that was like, um, so that was very memorable because I was like trying to like, remove the fangirl and just be in this moment with Sandra. And that was really, and, and it was fun and it was great. And it was one, it was wonderful. 
Did you ever tell her that you loved Ron Grey's Anatomy? No, because I feel like she hears <laughs> that every single day of her life. I feel like it's a lie. But if she watches this, then she'll know. Cats out of the bag. <laughs> and Bob, what was your experience like collaborating with Sandra? She, she made a, a, an easy point of letting all of us know, and me specifically, if it was just working together, she exuded equality. There was just no question. She could have pulled any plug. She could have come late. She could have had a fit about something that didn't fit if it didn't fit. She made it clear with her, but just being there, that she was one of the, the gang and that immediately takes down all fear, all restraint. And it makes you it, it, a level playing field is what we all want to be on. And people can be much less successful and famous than Sandra and make you feel like a stupid idiot and people, and, and people like Sandra, Sandra, are often not not always as nice as Sandra is, but I think it's I think it's innate in her, and I think she nurtures it. And so you've both had exceptional collaborators over the years as directors, as performers. So who have you worked with in the past you'd love to work with again, other than each other? Well, then you took the answer right out of my mouth. Um, <laughs> I mean, I would love to, obviously would love to work with Bob. Um, would, yeah, and I would love to work with Amanda as an actor. That would be really mm -hmm. fun, right? Because we haven't had that dynamic. And um, that could be, that. I don't know what world in which we would be cast in the same thing, in the same project, but it, it could be out there. I don't know. But um, she is so vibrant and alive and you know dynamic and I, I just um her energy is infectious and I would love to like be able to rap with her on on camera that would be great everything Nana says Nana says I'm going to say too so yes <laughs> I would if I if you could if you could resuscitate dead people I would love to work with Francois Truffaut again it's a once in a lifetime experience especially because he's gone now but even then what were the chances that I would be acting in a movie for seven months with my favorite director and turned out to be one of my favorite people. So that was the most, probably one of the most exciting relationships I had in a movie with anybody. Uh, and it wasn't just because he had directed all my favorite movies. It was because you want to get to know somebody who's that, who's that instinctively amazing. And I, you know, and for what little you get to know somebody in seven months standing with each other, I was the only person who spoke French and I, my French wasn't great, but compared to everybody else's, it was great. And Truffaut hated speaking English and embarrassed him to not be really good at what he did. I'm sure he could have said some things in English, but he didn't think people would understand his humor in English. And indeed, people thought he was rather severe because he had a kind of worried look on his face. But once you talked to him for five minutes, he was just... Riley witty and in touch with everything in his surroundings. He was like a magnet for everything that was going on. He could notice a little boy 25,000 feet away looking down at his shoes and say, look at that interesting kid over there. We should take a picture of him. I mean, it, it's, it's, it, it was great. Uh, and what a great film Close Encounters was. So what have the two of you been watching lately that you've really enjoyed or reading as the case may be <laughs> for the subject matter? I've, I've been reading, um, I'm late to this, but I've been reading Gilead um, by uh, Marilyn Robinson. And I am really, you know, there are books that you just like, I have to put down sometimes because they're just so achingly beautiful. And that's kind of where I am with that book. So I'm, I've got like 50 pages left and I'm really slowing it down to really like draw it out. It's so gorgeous. Well, I finished recently The Color of Water, which I mm -hmm. thought was just an astonishing, moving, complicated, simple, great to read book. And that's one of my favorite things lately. Uh -huh. Well, thank you both so much for the art that you bring into the world. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the show. I really appreciate it. Have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. You too. And thank you for being so cheery. Oh, thank you. Canadian like Sandra. What can I yeah, say? Yeah, exactly. Another kind Canadian. Can you say out and about quickly twice? Out and about. Out and about. You we don't do a boots. I've never heard of boots.
it bothers me as a Canadian. Can I say that? You can say that. You can definitely say that. I trust the two of you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.